Continuing with our Wednesday coverage of SEC Media Days here in Dallas, Mississippi State coming through with their new head coach, Jeff Levy. And you talk about a situation where he's going to have his hands full. Now, Levy has a great reputation as an offensive coordinator at UCF, at Ole Miss, at Oklahoma. Big-time offenses everywhere he's been from a coordinator standpoint. But now he steps into a situation where Mississippi State, they had a big-time offense under Mike Leach. They threw the ball incredibly well, and that's all they did under Mike Leach was throw the football. Had a great quarterback in Will Rogers who set all kind of records in Starkville. But then, unfortunately, Leach passed away in December of 2022, and they promoted their defensive coordinator, Zach Arnett, to the head coaching job. That did not go well. He was fired after 10 games last season and a 4-6 and six record after they were blown out by Texas A&M. And so they went back to an offensive mind in Jeff Levy. And that's good. I mean, this guy's supposed to be very, very smart at uh, creating an offense and running an offense. His problem's going to be that uh, he's going to have to start from scratch. According to the Mississippi State Media Guide, based on their statistics, they have zero returning starters on offense. And I think they were counting at a minimum of six starts to count as a returning starter. So zero returning starters on offense. That's a loss of 104 starts from those players who are not returning. And only three returning starters on defense. So it's a major rebuild job at Mississippi State for Jeff Levy. By the way, his defensive coordinator is former USC linebackers coach Coleman Hutzler. And his cornerback coach is former Gamecock cornerback Corey Bell. So a couple of connections there from a South Carolina standpoint. Though the Gamecocks and the Bulldogs don't play this season. So, of course, Rodgers left. He transferred to Washington. Levy went out and got his own transfer quarterback, Blake Shapin. He's coming from Baylor, where he was a starter the last two seasons, and he threw for over 5,600 yards and 36 touchdowns in those two seasons. He's a guy that rolls out, throws it on a dime, got a really good arm, and is mobile. And so, This offense that they plan to run, which they call multiple, will probably fit his skills extremely well. Defensively, they plan to uh, run a 3-4 look on defense. And back to the offense, I say multiple. They're going to be a spread offense look under uh, Jeff Levy. So rebuilding is um, the key word in Starkville in this first season under um, Jeff Levy. Got a tough stretch of games as well in the middle of the season. Home game against Florida, they go to Texas, they go to Georgia, then back at home against Texas A&M. So that is going to be uh, a real test for them during that part of the season. Again, I would expect that in time with this quarterback, and one thing they did do is take a lot of transfers, receiver, running back, skill position guys, see how that works out. But certainly a team that averaged 22 points per game last season Uh, With Jeff Lebby and with this quarterback from Baylor, certainly stands to average uh, a bit more than that uh, this coming season if they can put an offensive line together from from scratch without any returning starters there. So they were excited about Jeff Lebby in Starkville. They feel like he's got a very bright future. It's going to take some time, but I would expect here in 2024 it's going to be a pretty tough season for the Bulldogs in year one under Jeff Lebby.